I'm Sister Beverly Williams. The fourth? Fourth and fifth grade teacher. Okay, so what are y'all doing? We read My Side of the Mountain, and it was an adventure of a little boy that ran away from home and lived in nature for almost a year Ooh. alone. So our class decided that we were going to run away from school. Oh, wow. And live in nature. For now, a whole day. For a whole day. So we have a creek that we have our water in. Okay. The creek actually moved, but this is our creek with our water. So who are you? Who is this? I'm Noah. Noah? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And Noah is an adventurer in our class. And over here we have um, Imani. And Imani... Hi. Hi. We had to scavenge for all of our food. This is, this is the food that we found. Oh, y'all had to find all this? Yes. Wow. And so we found our food, but first we had to get a shelter. Oh, let me see the shelter. Can you show me the shelter? Uh, I'll show you the inside. inside oh, the door, okay. No, no, no. This is the main entrance. Wow. There are windows stuck. You can come in. Don't worry. Oh, I can come in? Okay. Oh, y'all built this yourself? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the door. And this is the porta potty. Wow. There's no porta potty in it, though. But I got you. I understand. So, y'all made it right for everything. Yeah. And then there's another window. I tell you what, the food smells good. Uh -huh. We're making hot dogs. Hot dogs. Wow. And there are two porta potties. Two porta potties? <laughs> That's and amazing. So we, had, so we had to gather our twigs and build an enclosure um, to start a fire. And we actually used flint and steel to start a fire. Really? Just like the, the kids did it? They, well, I mean, y'all showed them how. Well, we had a little help from I them. I got it. Mm -hmm. But it was still a it, it still was you steel them what and flint. Yeah. And they, they actually started this fire over here. So this is great for them to learn it at this age. Okay, so this is this is that, that's the little fire that they started. Oh wow! And this is the fire that we're we're about to um cook our lunch. In Ooh, a few minutes. well they they're gonna have the best lunch ever, natural lunch. <laughs> that's right. And and who is this gentleman right here? This is actually my husband. Okay, Mr. Husband, how are you? <laughs> so 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 you help you're helping teach the kids the, the nature and. Yeah, trying to show them how to do it, and if they have to go out camping for real, and just giving them some pointers on what they need to Life do. Life lessons. How to start a fire and everything for real. That is, so that's really good. just throw it out there and just do it, but you got to, it's a certain way that you have to put the wood on to start. You can't start burning by a big log. You got to start with a small piece. Okay. You got to start with twigs. Okay. And then kindling. What is there. kindling? What is that? Kindling is a small piece. You just make, you just get small pieces of wood. Like twigs like this. They call it kennel. You use these pieces right here. It starts your fire. Hey, give me a chunky on. Something that's dry, they call it kennel. Okay. And you use that to start it out. And then you add to it, then it grows and grows and grows. You just can't throw, you can't start a fire with this. You can't start a fire with a big one. No, you can't start a fire with this. You gotta start with small. You gotta start with small. And then, and then it gets it started. So, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, like this, yeah. could you break that off to start one? Yeah. This? Like this? You can break the small ones yeah, off. you can break the small You can even make the small pieces. You can't start something that's real big. Because it takes longer to get burned. Mm -hmm. So use the small pieces to burn. Hmm. That'll start like that. And what is he doing over there? What are they doing? They just foraging. They get some grass, getting dry leaves and stuff like that, or grass that's dry. And that'll help it burn faster. That'll get, that's part of the start. Okay. That's part of the start. So we really want to, we're going to let that go out in a few minutes. But this is the part we just want, really want to get started so that we can fix our hot dogs and stuff in the grill. That's a little safer, you know. Because we got, we're not at the campsite. We just made so, when people, so when people use charcoal, yes. so when people use charcoal, they can basically just use twigs and stuff? They can nope. actually use wood. They can use wood instead of charcoal. Charcoal is just compressed wood. It's that compressed stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's just compressed. It's, it's chemical-like stuff compressed real tight. And so, yeah. So what they do with wood instead, you know, a lot of people smoke wood. You know, they barbecue with wood. 
they still small, start off small. You know, and then you like 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 now this is on right. Mm -hmm. So we going good now. So we can add more wood to it. It's burning just like regular. So now we can start adding a little bigger. Add bigger, bigger pieces. pieces. Yeah. That'll keep the fire going. But see, all this is dry though. Okay, still dry. So we start going. So it's got to be dry wood. Okay, gotta guys, be dry. guys, start adding some more wood. If you have a big you fire, the fly, fire, then you can so, use a little more green. It's called it green because it's wet. Use those other small okay. pieces. Call it green. It just, and see what they'll do is if you want to burn longer, you use green wood, it'll, it'll, it'll burn longer, but you still got to have something to keep it going. You know, so that green wood, a, a, a little wet, it's a little wet. And you ever heard of season, when they season wood? Yeah. They season it, they let it dry out. Hmm. Put it to the side, just let it dry out. Season, but you can't put it on the ground because you put it on the ground on a rock. Wow.